Okay, YouTube, here's my uh, latest update on uh, my system. I've just incorporated a uh, grid tie or GTI controller uh, that I got from uh, techluck.com, uh, basically uh, from Enraj, his, uh, his company, I suppose. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll tell you guys about it. You know, I'll go ahead and make a video about it later on. I just want to kind of give you a brief update. And essentially what it does is, you know, now I've reincorporated a grid tie inverter into my uh, overall setup. And I once had it before in there, but I took it out because um, it worked great. It's just that, you know, I didn't feel like coming out here and manually, uh, you know, sw turning switches and stuff. And, you know, I was coming up with a way to do it automatically, but um, it seemed like uh, Enraj essentially beat me to it at him in uh, techluck.com. Uh, tech um, this is a 500 watt grid tie inverter. It's a sun grid tie inverter. And the uh, power, it, you know, it's between 10 and, and something like 10 and, and uh, 20 or 10 and 30 uh, volts, uh, 10 and 30 volts, I believe. And I've got it hooked up to uh, his uh, GTI controller, and I, you know, I kind of, I, I was out of town, so I, I got back and I just installed it today, and um, you know, I had to kind of tweak it so that so that I could uh, get it, you know, the set point dialed in as far as the voltage. And as you can see right here on my system here, it's uh, my battery. I have I've had it running for hours now, and just to kind of give an idea. You know, it's my battery bank is still at 100% and um, 26 volts, and I've got it set to come on at 26.2 uh, volts because you know my grid tie inverter. Uh, I mean, my charge controllers. These are real MPPTs here, uh, the Sun Savers, and uh, these are awesome MPPT uh, charge controllers. They do an excellent job, and according to the documentation, and and because I have. Um, AGM batteries um, the float mode it goes into float mode at 13.1 volts but since I got a 24 volt system you just simply multiply that by 2 so at 26 point um, at 26.2 volts um, that's when my batteries actually go into float mode so I had to tweak the, um, the GTI controller uh, so that it would come that, that it would actually sense 20, 26.2 uh, volts as opposed to in some systems that they're using a PWM con, um, controller or some other MPPT they have they have their set at like 28 28.5 28.3 or even 27 uh, but mine has been working uh, pretty well um, I've got some fans on it uh, to keep it cool um, but uh, as I said it's right now it's it's working great and um, right now um, I've got two battery monitors here one for my uh, uh, Magnuson inverter and uh, and the, uh, the trimetric the trimetric I found that it is very very reliable um, very very uh, it's very accurate this one uh, it's not as accurate it's always off by one or two uh, point one point two volts or something like that which is no big deal but when it comes to battery voltage, I pretty much trust my uh, trimetric. Uh, but kind of just to give you an idea, right now it's at 26.1 volts, and it's it's at you know uh, just you know like after 5 p.m. here, it's actually 12 minutes after five, and this thing is still is still you know still kicking. As a matter of fact, um, when this thing kicks on, it'll kick on and it'll actually put in about. Uh, just over 400 watts, maybe 430, 440 watts, uh, coming from my battery bank. You know, my 24 volt system. And, you know, these things they say that they're MPPTs, but you know, they it, they're nothing compared to a true, you know, uh, charge controllers that are MPPTs. And uh, so, and I let them, you know, they since they're true MPPTs, I don't, you know, I don't trust that, and I, I let I let those guys, you know, do the job. And with this controller at 26.2 volts running, um, I mean this this won't even this won't even let make my battery sneeze. Um, so I mean, <laughs> as you can see, so it's it appears to be working really really well uh, so far so far. And I'm gonna let it I'm just gonna you know let it run for a while. And um, I'm gonna I'll upload a video and you know kind of you know kind of in my, at least in my own mind kind of uh, reverse engineer the process so that. 
I can explain to you, you know, from, from when the time the, the power comes in from, to the charge controllers until it hits the shunt um, and the, uh, the uh, bus bar on up to the, uh, the controller here. And, um, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to kick back on shortly. Uh, right now, as, as I said, you can see the difference between the voltage levels between the uh, trimetric and the uh, remote control unit for my, um, my Magnuson inverter and it should kick on shortly um, you know just give it a moment and then I'll show you hopefully it will kick on and uh, it's ticking 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 because I've got it to where you know it's like I, I basically say don't you even think about coming on until you until you're at 26.2 volts and you maintain 26.2 volts for some measurable period of time and it took some tweaking and um, right there, you know, you should see something blue right next to the to the left of the flashing light, the flashing LED. Uh, that's a blue pot or potentiometer where you you adjust the voltage. And uh, by adjusting the voltage, you know, you, that's the set point. And it takes some tweaking. It definitely takes some tweaking, uh, but it definitely can be done. Um, it's at uh, 26.2, and it's holding. Okay, it still needs to hold for a little bit uh, before uh, that, you know, the GTI actually kicks on. You know, I, I did want to tweak it a little more, but I'm like, well, nah, <laughs> I won't, I won't tweak it. Uh, I don't know if it's going to come on again or not, but anyway, um, it, it should come on yeah, a little bit, just a little bit. There it is, right there. You'll see it. The grit tie inverter. It kicks on. It's, it's it's firing up. The voltage is going down. Uh, that blinking light is going faster. And if you can see, it's at 443 watts. 443 watts. Now I've got mine wired up so that you know I'm not. I, don't, I could care less how much is coming from the battery. But, you know, what I care about is, you know, how much is actually going in because I actually have it exactly in parallel, uh, I mean, with my batteries as far as the wiring. And I'll talk about that in a later video. Uh, but uh, right now, as you can see, my battery bank is still at 100%. And, you know, it's at 20. The voltage has decreased because the uh, grid time inverter is, is uh, you know, is active. You can see that it's blinking. And what it's going to do is going to blink for roughly around two minutes. And after two minutes, it's going to kick off. And it'll stop. Now, um, at, and uh, let's see, it's at 438 watts. And that's because, you know, I'm running these fans. So, you know, I'm taking some of the juice from my, you know, that's being, you know, brought in by my grid tie inverter and, you know, providing the, the means for cooling it. So, you know that's a good trade-off it's not taking that much if I turned off the fans um, then it would be up to about uh, around uh, 450 maybe 470 or 470 watts between 450 and 470 watts uh, so right now it's uh, it's going pretty well and um, you know it'll go for two minutes and then it'll it, then it'll just it'll stop okay well again this is just a brief update and you know want to end Raj to know that yeah I did get it and installed it and uh, I'm gonna kinda take a look at it I'm gonna test it out test it out and everything you know be fair and um, as you can see it just kicked off you know and uh, what's gonna happen is my voltage is gonna steadily climb okay it's gonna steadily climb and it's this light here okay is, is blinking slow now and the grid tie is off now if I take a look as you can see, there's still amps coming in to my battery bank. And, you know, it's almost 6 o'clock, uh, or almost 5.30 at least. So, um, just kind of, you know, just, just, you know, shooting you guys a little video. Okay, alright. Take care, YouTube.